Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What are different ways to execute your SSIS package? Can I run SSIS package by using store procedure? So there are multiple ways that we can run our SSIS package. One way when we are developing our SSIS package in the bids or SSDT, so we can use the bids or SSDT to run our SSIS package. Second is using DTXX UI. That's a graphical interface. When you, if you have a package file, you double click on that one and that will initiate DTXX exact UI and that will uh, ask you um, connection manager va va values for the variable you can provide them and then you can run from there the third one can be DT exec uh, dot executable so that's uh, that's executable that you can use uh, to run your SSIS uh, package as well now the fourth one is a SQL server agent uh, job uh, can uh, be used uh, to run the SSIS package as well. The fifth one can be third party scheduler. So there could be Cisco scheduler or uh, there are other schedulers in the market. They can run the uh, SQL server. Uh, they can run the uh, SSIS packages, but they, what they will be doing, uh, you will be creating a batch file and inside the batch file, you will be using a DT exec and uh, that's how you will be calling that batch file in the third party scheduler to run the, uh, that batch file and then DTExec will take from there. If uh, you are developing uh, or your team has developed uh, some application by using .NET, they can call the package uh, in the .NET uh, programming uh, or you know that's how they can call them as well. So you can, um, the last one is saying, can you run your SSIS package by using store procedure? Yes, you can call your store per, uh, SSIS package or can run your SSIS package uh, from the store procedure. So you will be using DT exact as well to run your package from a store procedure you have to enable uh, xp underscore command shell and uh, the, once you enable that one uh, it, it will be able to go and initiate a dt exec uh, and dt exec will have the package path and you will have the connection managers and variable values in the dt exec or command uh, you are going to use in the store procedure and that's how you can run uh, the package from the store procedure once you uh, create that uh, um, command uh, there and uh, uh, have the code inside the store procedure, uh, then you can schedule your um, um, store procedure by using SQL Server Agent. So important thing when uh, how to build uh, d uh, the command for DT exec dot executable. So you can go to the SQL Server Agent uh, job and uh, point to the um, SSIS package and then uh, provide the connection managers and variable values and then you will go to command tab there and you will see the DT exec uh, uh, whole command will be ready for your for for your use uh, or you can go to the when you double click on the package itself it opens a DT exec UI that's a graphical interface and you provide all those different uh, connection managers variable values uh, and it will build a DT exec uh, command for you so you can copy from there and use in your store procedure so you do not want uh, or have to write uh, uh, with the hands and uh, make mistakes uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video